also about proof and so a little bit tricky. Um, first of all, uh, what they want us to prove is to prove that AD to DB is the same as AE to EC. And what they give us is that these are parallels. So this is what they want us to prove given is that DE is parallel to BC. Well, anytime you are trying to establish proportions, I guarantee, this is a big guarantee, it has something to do with similarity. Similarity is all about proportions. So I'm not going to write all of this out, but I'm going to give you the basic idea that the first thing you want to do is prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. And my conjecture to you is that's quite a simple thing to do. Parallel lines give you corresponding angles. The, the angle A is common. You got lots of angles to establish AA as your reason. Now, from this, you do know that AB to A, let's see, AB to AD is the same as AC to AE. Let's make sure you understand that. The, the little guy in here is similar to the big one. So A, uh, AB to AD, AE to AC. So they're proportional. Now you'll notice, remember our goal is to talk about AD. Well, good, it's, it's involved. And, uh, and then we want to talk about AE. It's involved. But these guys are nowhere to be found. So the little hint, and this is the last hint I'll give you, change this to discuss it as two pieces. Change this to discuss it as two pieces. So we still have our AD, which we want. We still have our EC, which we want. Guess who just got introduced? DB's introduced and EC's introduced. If you do some cross multiplication there, a little simplification, and then put it back in the form of a proportion, you will find that this pops out. A couple of nice tips.